back to Culinary Corner. This week for Cheap, Fast, and Healthy, we will be making street tacos with a cream cilantro sauce. Let's go over our ingredients. For the taco meat, you will need two tablespoons of olive oil, one yellow onion, one pound of lean ground turkey, one clove of garlic, one teaspoon of cumin powder, two tablespoons of chili powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and three tablespoons of tomato paste. For the sauce, you will need three fourths cup of sour cream, one fourth cup of mayonnaise, one clove of garlic, one to two handfuls of cilantro, however much you'd like, two teaspoons of lime juice, and a pinch of pepper. For the garnish for our taco, you will need two avocados, two Roma tomatoes, some cheddar cheese shredded, and of course, taco shells. You can choose whichever you'd like to use. Before we get cooking, the CDC recommends washing your hands for 20 seconds, making sure to use soap and hot water, and getting your wrists and underneath your fingernails. So let's do that. To begin, we're gonna start by making our cream cilantro sauce. The first thing we're gonna do is grab our cilantro. And you're gonna grab a small handful, like about that much, and cut off most of the stem. So we're just gonna pull the leaves off. And you're going to do that for your whole thing. So after you've pulled off all the cilantro leaves from the vine, you should have a good sized pile like this. And we're just going to cut it up as finely as possible. So cilantro is an herb that's very similar to things like parsley, basil, and it's used a lot in Spanish style cooking. I really like the taste of cilantro and it's a really great source of antioxidants. So we're just cutting it up as finely as we can here. Make sure to watch out when you're cutting to not get your fingers in the way. And I think we're about done. Just gonna brush it off the knife. And just grab something from the this. So now we're going to take a bowl out. It should be a pretty large mixing bowl, and this is what we're going to use for our cream sauce. So once we're done cutting, we're going to take our knife and just scrape the chopped cilantro into our bowl. So the next ingredient we're going to prepare for our sauce is the garlic. So we have a clove of garlic, and we're just going to cut it into chunks and again just try to cut it as finely as you can now garlic is really great at lowering cholesterol and I really like to use garlic in a lot of cooking because it adds a lot of flavor. So once that's all chopped up pretty finely, we can grab that to our bowl. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients into our cilantro and garlic mixture. So first we're gonna add three fourths a cup of sour cream. One fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. And 
and our two teaspoons of lime juice. a small sprinkle of pepper and stir it all up. If after you've stirred it up you think it needs to be more cilantro-y or whatever, you can add more cilantro or more lime juice, whatever you think it needs. But when you're done, it should look like this. Perfect. Now we can get started on our taco meat. Now that we've moved on to preparing our taco meat, we're going to first start off by cutting up our two veggies in it, which are our onion and our garlic. So first we're gonna start with our onion. As you can see, I've peeled off the first couple layers and we're just going to dice it. So onions and garlic are actually in the same sort of food family. They're both bulbs that have sort of papery uh, layers on the outside. So it's kind of neat. After you finish dicing your onion, it should look something like this. And next we're gonna cut up our second clove of garlic. This one is the one that's going in the taco meat. Cut it up the same way again in as small chunks as you can. And once that's all cut up, we can put that into a separate little bowl here and put aside for later. Now we're going to turn our oven on to about medium heat and add some olive oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Kind of just roll it around a little bit. And once that's all firmly covered, we're going to take our onion and scrape it into the skillet. Ground turkey is a really great option for things like these that you, the recipe calls for ground beef because uh, it's a leaner cut of meat, which means there's going to be less fat and less calories altogether. So we're just going to take that turkey. Scoop it all in there. We're going to break the meat up and let that brown up hopefully. So now while our turkey is cooking, we're going to go ahead and add the seasoning without it being a processed pre-made seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and add our garlic that we cut up earlier. We're going to add one teaspoon of cumin powder. We're gonna add two tablespoons of chili powder. One and two. And we're gonna add half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now that all those are in there, we're gonna make sure they're all stirred up. Now that our 
turkey meat is almost fully cooked through, we're going to turn the heat down a little bit and add our tomato paste. Now we're going to stir that all up and then remove from the heat because our taco meat is done. Now that our taco meat is finished and we've already prepared our cilantro sauce, all we need to do is prep our garnish ingredients. So first we're going to cut up our Roma tomatoes. By the way, all of the vegetables in this video were washed before filming. It's really important that when you buy fruits and vegetables from the grocery store that you wash them before you eat them. This gets rid of any sort of dirt from when they were grown or grocery store processing, anything like that. So we're just gonna cut up our tomatoes kind of into cubes. After your tomato has been fully chopped up, it should look something like this. We're going to go ahead and streak that into a bowl. This is just going to help us separate our garnishes while we are cutting the vegetables. Now the next garnish we're going to add is avocado. Avocados I really personally like because they're a great source of fat. Now a lot of the time when people think of fat, they think of it as a negative thing. However, to have a complete diet, you should be eating all food groups, including fat, and avocado is a kosher diet without it being a saturated, unhealthy type of fat. So after you've cut it, I just split it down the middle and then twisted it and pulled it apart. You're gonna take your knife and carefully just chop into the pit and twist, and it should pull right out like this. You can throw away the pit, and then using a spoon, I'm going to take our avocado halves and just scrape it into a separate bowl. So your two varnishes should look like that. I think it's available. One, two. The last varnish we're gonna add that we need to chop up still is some more cilantro. I'm just adding this as a small little sprig on top so we don't need to cut up much. All you need to do is just Take your vine and pull off a few of the leaves. I'm just gonna do, we'll say three stems. And here's number three. Awesome, now we can start assembling our tacos. Now that all of our ingredients are prepared, we're gonna begin assembling our tacos. So first I took three sort of mini corn tortilla shells, soft shell, and I like to use corn tortillas not only because I think they taste better than flour tortillas, but also because they're gluten free. So we're going to first start by putting a little scoop of our turkey meat mix in each taco. These tacos are pretty great because once again, they're a complete meal that they have all the essential ingredients for a full meal. So we have our onion and garlic as our veggies. Our turkey is our protein. Our tomatoes are our fruit. Our avocado is our fat. And the corn tortillas are our grain. We also have the sour cream that's in the sauce. That's our dairy. So this meal kind of hits all the categories. Okay. After you put a good size amount of meat in all of them, we're gonna add our sauce that we made and just put a little dollop of meat in each one. Next, we're gonna add some of our shredded cheese. I'm using mild cheddar. Just put a little sprinkle on each one. The cheese is also dairy in this one. 
And then for our garnish, we're gonna add a little bit of avocado to each one. A little bit of tomato. And a tiny bit of cilantro on top. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Cheap, Fast, and Healthy, where we made turkey tacos with a cream cilantro sauce. Make sure if you try this recipe, tag UND Wellness and let us know what you thought. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you.